Hello everyone, and how are you guys doing today? I'm a little bit more cheerful and energetic. Um, I actually got some sleep last night, so, um, but God, I felt so old because I went to bed at 8.30 last night, and I'm thinking, oh my God, even when I was younger and going to school, I didn't even go to bed at 8.30. So it was like so weird because normally I stay up to like maybe 12, 1 o'clock in the morning every night, and I was just like, okay, I'm going to bed. But I was very tired. I was trying so hard to um, stay up. And uh, it was like 3 o'clock. And I'm just like, I'm watching TV. And then I'm watching, you know, online on Facebook and stuff. And trying to multitask. And, you know, I'm just like, I'm talking to some people. And I'm just like slowly dozing off. And I'm like, okay, I gotta shake this off. I gotta stay up. So I did stay up till 8.30. And then I just crashed. And... Um, funny story of what happened was, and you guys are going to laugh at this, but I'm going to tell you the story anyways, but, um, I woke up this morning around three o'clock in the morning so I can get to work. Um, and I woke up and I was like, oh my God, you know, wow. And I, I didn't realize it until finally it sunk in because like I said, I just woke up and I think I only had maybe six and a half hours. So between three days, I've only had maybe eight and a half hours of sleep. So, um, I just kind of glanced and I'm like, oh my God, you know, it's amazing. You know, it's like a miracle. Um, I could see, <clears throat> and I didn't realize it that I had left my contacts in my eyes. Um, and I slept with them and I never do that at all. So when I woke up this morning, I'm, I'm looking at the clock and I'm like, oh my God, I can really see. I'm like, it's a miracle, you know? Um, cause that's kind of always what I would love one day is just to wake up and be able to have my perfect vision again, you know? Uh, cause I am totally, um, fun fact is I am totally blind as a bat without these contacts in my eyes. So, um... Then I realized I got to the bathroom, and I'm like, crap, you know, uh, it's not a miracle. It's my contacts are still in my eyes, you know, so, which was very shocking because they didn't bother me at all, and like I thought they would irritate my eye or anything, so I just took them out, put in some solution and stuff like that, and then put them back in my eyes, and they're not bothering me, um, and I was really shocked because I really thought they would, so... Um, yeah, I was just, like, so embarrassed, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> so, um, my question for you guys, have you ever done anything kind of, like, stupid like that, and just your mind plays tricks on you, and then you're like, oh, that's not true, you know, I'll comment down below. I'd love to hear some of your, your stories. Um, thank you guys for your feedback on my yesterday's video. Um, I know that was more of a serious type video, but... Um, great thing, and I want to give a shout out to the administrator for, um, <coughs> excuse me, for gay friends. Um, I did contact him and everything, and I just told him that basically what was going on on his group and how people were kind of bashing me and stuff like that because they thought I was someone else and, and not being real or whatever, you know, the case may be. So, um, he did post something on there, and he pinned it on there, um, saying that, you know, I am, in fact, real, you know, just the last time I checked, I was, and if anybody continued to, you know, start bashing me on their, on, on their group, that, you know, um, they, he would kick them out, or ask them to leave, because that's not part of what he's trying to do for his group, and he won't tolerate, and so I thought that was very, genuine and very nice for, you know, the administrator, and that's what makes a group, a great group, is the leader, um, and being fair and everything, so just getting a message like that and him posting something like that was very good, because like I said, it's been, the last week has been very, uh, so much drama, and it's like, I almost want to stop back and, and stop doing certain things, because it's just like, you know, people just aren't believing you or anything like that, which I don't care too much about that. It's just, you know, I'm trying to work hard to do something and do good for something. And, you know, when you have already people that are thinking you're someone else and not even giving you an opportunity to make something that is already a negative 
area into something positive, you know, it's not like starting fresh and just doing something, you know, there's a lot of baggage that I'm trying to change it around, so, um, it was a good thing, you know, and I was very glad to see that message this morning, and, and see the pin, um, message on his channel as well, so, um, I'll send some people over there, so if you guys want to go over there to gay friends, you know, on Facebook, definitely check it out, um, I won't be posting anything on there about gay buds or <coughs> LGBT friends at, uh, at all um, because uh, I just don't want any more drama on top of that. So, but definitely check them out or whatever. And we are going to be launching pretty soon the um, new collab channel on... Uh, YouTube, which is the um, GBC Gay Buds collab. Um, I'm very excited. We have a great group of guys on there um, for all days of the week, so you don't get to miss any of us for any day. So um, I'm very excited. It's something that's starting from scratch and is going to be a little bit different because um, it's a group from Facebook, you know, and these are all administrators of my two groups so if they are on the collab they are also administrators on the group as well so they play an important role um for the group and the collab channel so um if you guys see them you know and of course if you go on the main channel which i'll link down below you can subscribe subscribe to the channel but a lot of the links are on there as well they're starting to put up their links for facebook um youtube channels and all that stuff like that so definitely go to their channels and support them um all of them some of them are starting to scratch um they've never done any youtube videos and now they're starting and i and i totally remember being like that and and starting from scratch you know and not um, having any idea of what to do, but, you know, finally, you know, once you make enough videos, you feel so comfortable in front of the camera, and you just kind of visualize, like, for me, I don't really look at the camera as a, you know, a camera, you know, it's something I turn on and, and just start talking to, but I, you know, in the back of my head, I'm just talking to an, a large audience, you know, I've had personal conversations with you guys as, viewers and subscribers that are on my channel, um, and I've had some long talks, some deep talks, and some laughs, and everything, and, and so it's a lot more than just turning on and making a video, it's more of, you know, interacting with the viewers, and, and, and having a great moment, um, and I appreciate all that, you know, I appreciate, and I think that's what I love to do so much, and, um, it's a great feeling, and, you know, as much as sometimes you feel like, okay, what's the point? Um, and, like, this week, it's been very hectic, you know, with a lot of drama and stuff. Um, sometimes you never see the, um, behind the scenes of what goes on, you know. Um, people just make a video, and you see that, and that's it. But, um, sometimes it, there's a lot of drama behind it, and... So I just kind of went over that hurdle, and I knew that would, time would come. It's just I had to continue pressing on. So, yes, we won. I'm excited, and I'm excited to continue to do a lot of things. And there's a lot of things that I'm doing. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any more, but I just want to continue to to spread the message, spread the word, entertain you guys, and, and just let your day day be a little bit better, you know, um, if you're struggling, I love, you know, on YouTube that you can go to certain channels and, you know, there's a lot of people that I follow and, you know, they crack me up, I might be having a stressful day, you know, and I go home and I turn on a video and I'm like, oh my god, that was so hilarious and I start laughing and, and <laughs> it just makes my day and for those of you who do that and continue to do videos, you know, I want to salute you guys and say that I appreciate each and every one of you guys for putting yourself out there and, you know, making a difference out there. Sometimes you don't realize that you do make a difference, but you do. Um, even if there's like 5,000 5, people attacking you and bad-mouthing you, if you make a difference to just one person, you know, that is the whole purpose of it. And I just am glad to be able to do that and be a part of this and, and continue to grow, not only on YouTube, but now Facebook as well. And I hope one day it becomes something bigger, you know. I just have so many visions that I want to do, and, you know, I just, 
I want to make some kind of a difference, and I know that, you know, you just got to do it, you know, don't think, don't overthink about it, don't overanalyze, just go out there and do something, you know, and for me, that is one of the hardest things that I've had to learn, because I'm an overthinker, and I like to dissect every little thing, and that's one thing that drives my my boyfriend absolutely insane, because he's like, really, you, you know, you need to dissect that even further, I'm like, yeah, you know, because if this doesn't work, I want to have this back in place. And if that's not, you know, I, I have like an A to Z plan and, you know, and I'm very tedious on that. And I'm trying to get out of that by just living the moment, living the moment and just kind of being like, wow, let's do this. You know, let's not think about it. Let's just do it. So, and that's kind of what we're doing with the collab on um, Gay Beds, you know, this is something that was just like, okay, Let's do it, you know, um, let's not overthink about it, and, you know, we had some auditions, and we picked the people out there, and I'm just very excited, um, I'm very excited to do this, and work with a bunch of great people, and hopefully we're going to be talking about some amazing topics out there, you know, something that you will also learn more about us, but also be able to talk about certain topics like depression, and, you know, um, coming out and, and all these other things that, you know, a lot of people have in the back of their head that they would just want some answers to, um, or, you know, would like some advice. And that's what my main purpose is. You know, I love being silly and doing like little videos of, you know, cooking with Thomas, the, the Southern, um, y'all come back now here. Um, <laughs> but, um, there's also a serious side, you know, and there's a lot of people struggling, struggling out there, and I myself, you know, struggle from time to time, you know, there's not always a, a jolly Thomas out there, you know, as much as I would love to say that I am, um, there's moments that I just break, you know, we all go through a break in moments, and it's what we do with that, you know, that makes us stand out, and when you can sit there and say, you know what, um, I need help. I need help with this situation, you know, and it's okay to say that, you know, there's been a lot of times where I've tried to do things myself and block everybody away from me and push every single person out of my life just till I get out of that moment. But then I've realized that, you know, sometimes I just need to go to people and say, hey, can I talk to you? Um, do you mind if I just talk about certain things, you know? Um, and then I'll even say, you know, I don't, I'm not looking for an answer. I just, I just want to vent it out. You know, I want to get this out of my, you know, my mind and just get it out there because it's just literally driving me crazy and I, I just don't want to think about it anymore. So, um, yeah, where did all that come from? But, <laughs> okay guys, I love every one of you guys. You guys are so amazing as always. I wish... I could just tell you how much you guys are amazing. I, I appreciate each and every one of you on here. Um, all of you that continue to make a comment every day, you know, um, it's just wow. You know, you guys are so special. And um, continue to shine, continue to show your colors, and show the world who you are. You know, each one of you are so amazing. And, you know, it's, you know, I love that Katy's, Katy Perry song you know, um, firework, because, you know, it's just, we are fireworks, you know, we have so much inside of us, you know, sometimes that a lot of people don't get to see it, and it's our time to let it all out, and, and be who we are, and show the world who we are as a person, and, and not worry about if people like us or not, or, you know, if they think that maybe we can't sing, there are some moments I can, I really cannot carry a tune, but I love music, I love singing, I love, I don't care if people tell me like, oh, Thomas, don't quit your day job, you know, I don't care, you can, you can say that, but I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing, and I want you to continue doing what you're doing, so whatever you like to do, do it, don't worry about what anybody thinks, so I love you guys, you guys are amazing, bye.